today I'm going to be talking about how to set up a 5 GPU system using Gigabit i9-290. This is one of the best uh, video cards. Alex, if you want to come up, I'll show you the motherboard. Uh, I'm using the Gigabit UP4. This is one of the best things to do, to use a Gigabit motherboard with a Gigabit video cards. Uh, this is a powerful uh, processor I'm using. It doesn't really matter which one. I'm just using a good one because I'm going to keep it. But it does, this does not make a difference. You just got to make sure that the socket can match that. So this is a 211 socket. Um, I got the 16 gigabytes, but I'm only going to use 8 gigabytes of RAM because that's, that's all you need. 4 gigabytes of RAM is going to be really hard to pull 5 GPU unless you're using a Linux operating system. Just wireless keyboard. You got it for 20 bucks. Um, with the SSD, you can go 64 gigabytes for Windows 8 or probably 8 gigabytes if you're using Linux operating system. In this video, I'm going to be showing Windows 8 operating system. This is the on and off switches. I bought a couple bucks. As you can see, we're not using a case, so we, we probably need this. You can buy them in your local computer stores. I bought this at Micro Center. Uh, this is the video cards. Each video card approximately consumes about 300 watts. So we got five, so it's about 1,500. I'm going to undervolt that. I'm going to show that later in the video. Um, and this is the power supply. This is a really cheap power supply, full max. It just gets a little job done. The best one is level, 1,600. It's really hard to get that. Everything's out of stock. So we're going to be using this bad boy. It's 1,600 watts. And this is the rig I built. We're actually going to be up selling this. Uh, email me if you're looking to buy this. I can ship you overnight. Uh, that's it. Just unbox everything as you can see. Uh, this is the power supply, PCIe cable, cooling system, processor, composer, because you can't see that far away. Um, this is a gigabit motherboard, SSD drive, and all the gigabit cards, SATA cable, 8 gigabytes of RAM, thermal paste for the processor, switching, PCI risers, we need them because there's only four slots, so I'm going to put three cards on the board, and two of them I'm going to rise it. That's why we build a case like this. This is really solid. It doesn't go anywhere. Uh, scissors, zip ties, bootable Windows 8, and you can use Linux like I said earlier. Okay, so let's put it together. Okay. Alright, so this is a processor. You want to look where the error is at and match this error. Can you see this error in the case? Once it's in, you can see that's in. You lock that in place. Thank you. Okay. Just a little bit of the paste, just to secure it. That should be enough. Okay, this connector has to go where it says CPU fan. Screw this in. You don't want to use a drill. You want to use your hands to do that. If you use a drill, 
make it too tight, that's not good. Right here it says power. If you zoom in, it's really small and tiny. It says power. Just plug it in. And and labeling is facing this way. That's it. As far as you can That's the second one. Um, if you zoom in right here, it says PCIe okay. row one, and this is row two. And if you read this label, not that many people this actually look at this. <laughs> Yeah, make sure. One row is 110 amps, the other one is 50 and amps. For those kind of cards, they're not so too close. This is good enough because you just want to have some kind of fan blown from the back. That's how many watts you guys later on done. Each you can row. see the power switch is just so enough to turn it on. You can extend it. The second row cables, so we, we have, have 110. I don't know if you can see that. Amps. We zoom in closer. The first one is 50, so when you connect That's them, why I'm going to put two PCI right now. You don't want to put everything in one row. You want to kind of mix and match. 1X216 doesn't have to connect to 1X16. In this, this is case, we've got to be really careful because we're pushing it. So that's, that's we're going to be using about really close to 1600. If your motherboard is not, if you're using, for example, a different motherboard, and your motherboard is not recognizing all five when you set it up, you want to actually disable the audio uh, in your BIOS, and it should do it for you. A lot of people have been asking the same question over and over. How come mine is only recognizing four, five? Do not use Windows 7. You just connect it like that, lock it, recheck everything on the bottom. Should be good. It's processing. Okay. Okay, let's twist it for some reason. Now we gotta secure this a little bit more. We made some holes in the case. That's good. Put the screws in. And it's gonna be really secure. It's not going anywhere. So, as you can see, it's, it is pretty solid. I need a flash, and right, let's move over there to that side to get the windows on. That's bootable, like I said. It's hard to see, connect the HDMI, internet connection, and we should go. For this motherboard, F12 is to get some boot, bootable face. As you can see, I'm downloading Windows 8.1 Pro. You don't have to, usually, it's cheaper to buy home, you can get the home edition by using Pro. That's the hard drive, brand new hard drive. Next. And that's it. Just give it like 20 minutes. Sharon.